You know, I met Jesse a, about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago. He'd used a prosthesis for a long time. He'd had a good one and he knew what a good one was, which had, makes a big difference. So we built him a body powered prosthesis, you know, with a, with a hook traditional, cause he's a heavy duty guy. And he said, he's like, people have tried the different myoelectronics and he's like, I've done it a couple times, but he's like, they just don't keep up with me. They're not, you know, they're not durable. They're not durable. They, they don't work for what I'm trying to do. And I'm like, cool, man, we'll build you exactly what you need. Well, in the meantime, um, so we did that. We built him a couple, because he really is heavy duty. So we're on a, we built him the second body powered. And we started talking and I'm like, well, there's some new stuff that just came out that kind of is a game changer in terms of durability. There's finally one of these, uh, like a hand that has the different grip patterns and all those things that is made to be robust. It's made for people doing construction or um, just heavy duty work. And so he said he was interested, so that's, Pretty much how we got here, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly it. One of the big things, and there's a few other ones. This is that 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 are like this, but each digit moves independently. So in the past, the myoelectric hands would basically be a, th a three draw mm -hmm. chuck. Two fingers and the thumb would move, and they would make one grip pattern. So it was one thing you yep. could do with them, right? Yeah, that was um, it. And that that was it. So you only hold on one. With this, as you kind of saw, he, Jesse can can do different things and and change modes so that there's like. Well, I mean, numerous, numerous grips. I don't remember the exact number, but a, a whole lot of grips that he could go through. And so it makes it a lot more functional. And then the other thing, so this one also is also waterproof, which makes a big difference because, yeah. I mean, do you really want to put something like this on that you can't even wash? Right. You know, that's, that's, that's something. And then, so the waterproof and then the fact that they, that this is not only being sold as, but has the proof of concept of being heavy duty and being, and being able to be used heavy duty repeatedly. That's a lot big difference between that and the new stuff. Um, it's the only one that's really, that, that's really rated for heavy duty stuff. The, all the other ones that have multiple moving fingers, are, they're pretty delicate. Yeah. They're in intricate things. And they, and they work very well, but they are, aren't made to be robust. That's crazy. It's just weird how everything. I like that too, though. Yeah, that's pretty. That's, that'd be that's nice pretty if slick. You, your hook did that sometimes. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, all this stuff is replaceable. I mean, like the webbing here is replaceable. Okay. Every finger, you know, everything is replaceable if you break anything. It's cool. all. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah. How's the socket feel? Good. Not, yeah, that not, not a big deal. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I tried using some of my battery powered stuff in the past, and it just wasn't built for much. <laughs> and my my very first one that I had that looked like a hand, um, that was probably like twelve pounds. Right. You know, it was really heavy, and uh, I look back at it now, and it the they had you know um, uh, silicone sleeve on it, mm -hmm, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was really not it looked yeah. yeah i look at it now i think wow but yeah pretty much it just weren't really usable my hook that body powered hook i can do everything with it i mean and it's just uh so a lot of times trying to adjust to something like this is more frustrating than it was actually worth but the whole having all the fingers was is what enticed me right. when you said something about it and but yeah and it seems to be great i'm i want to put it to the test you know there's still musculature that's in his limb and what happens is when the nerve sends a signal to that muscle to open or close the hand, there's an electrical impulse that goes through that muscle. There are small sensors inside the prosthesis, inside the socket here, that pick up that impulse. So as Jesse moves the muscles that would, that would either extend his wrist or open his hand, when those ones uh, flex, then it sends a signal to open the hand. And when he moves these ones here, it sends a signal to close the hand. There are more complicated control, control strategies for it. Um, some people have difficulty operating this or maybe they, they wanna switch modes intuitively. They, they're like, well, I constantly am going from picking up something flat to picking up something circular and it's a pain in the neck to switch modes. There are ways that we can, can program the hands to do things like that by having instead of two sensors, we, there, there are systems out there that have up to 17 sensors. Yeah. That, that are on the arm so that they can really pick up the, the differences in the grip patterns of what he's trying to do. Um, but this is a pretty good starting point yeah. for somebody that hasn't done it 
I mean, he, he obviously he has the aptitude for it, but he hasn't done it regularly. Right, no. No, my arm actually started cramping up. Yeah. That last one when I got yep. that hook, I was at a basketball game watching mm -hmm. a kid. And I, yeah, I was starting to get like Charlie right. horses just because you were, you know, I'm used to going like this right. to do all my movements. And, and so, yeah, you can see how many different grips yeah. there are, it, it, including we can go through and we can make, uh, or if we hook it up to the computer, we can make custom grips. So gotcha. like, if you want to flip somebody off, you can, right. that. that's, yeah, one, that would that's the one that they say is always the most common. Right. Like everybody seems to want that one. Yeah. Rock on. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's cool. yep. um, but yeah, you can see that. So we kind of talked about the yeah. one for like the, uh, so once you close it now, now close it. Gotcha. Now open, now open up, see how it does it. It's not going to let go of the drill. Yeah. So it would just, that'd be. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's different. Yeah. It actually works a lot compared to, you know, that first one I had was, and it was so dang heavy. Right. But How does the weight, I was going to ask my next question, how's the weight of it feel? It's good. It doesn't does really it feel, feel like you can, like it's, it's manageable. It's not much heavier than the hook, really. Okay. My hook actually is uh, fairly heavy. Right. The right. actual hook itself. Yeah, the stainless steel. When yep. you take it off, it's yep. kind of surprising. What these will do is they'll cycle the mode for you. So you'll, the home, each, each one of them does its own different thing. Gotcha. Okay. This home button always has the same ones. These two buttons, you can use an app gotcha. to program kind of what grips it's going to do based on you pushing, you know, cycling through. So the app also works to switch the modes cool. on it. So like if you want to see what something is, so you go to the pointer, you say view and it shows you what pointer is. And you can go to try, and it'll change it to that. Hmm. And then you can now what when you when you move it. So that this one is like for if you want like if you see how the pinky's staying down. Yep. So this is if you want to grip like something that's like spherical, or if you're holding like a can of pop or a yep. beer or something yeah. like that. It, um, yep, it's got like the grip stop feature on yep. it and stuff. How, does it feel like it's easy enough to make it move? Yeah, because yeah. I can because I can dial it and I can make it a little bit easier. I mean, you're you're doing a real good job of it. No, I mean it seems to be working pretty good, really. I will probably try it for work some, but I'm probably just gonna mess around with it for a couple months, right. kind of just to get right, the yeah feel have a of feel it. for it before you take it to the job. Just that's, because right. I'm so used to, I mean that's I use that for a hammer and right. you know all sorts of stuff. So <laughs> right. I mean I don't want to start just pawn yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing with this though is I mean you could you could hold a nail, you know that's right. versus that it's just quicker for me to grab a nail out of my pouch and hold it with these fingers and smack it uh -huh. with my arm. But so yeah. I'm experimenting. Like I said, just toying around with it. 